Deep Ebony Skin This skin tone represents the highest concentration of melanin that human evolution has produced. Melanin is the natural pigment in our skin that determines color and provides protection against ultraviolet radiation. It developed in regions such as equatorial Africa, where ultraviolet radiation is at its most intense throughout the year. In this skin type, melanin is produced in abundant quantities, creating a deep ebony appearance that sometimes carries cool or bluish undertones. This level of pigmentation protects the DNA inside skin cells, reducing the chances of mutations and lowering the risk of skin cancers caused by the sun's radiation. In an environment where solar exposure was constant and severe, this was not only an advantage but a requirement for survival. Beyond its protective qualities, this skin type demonstrates remarkable efficiency in resisting the harmful effects of prolonged sun exposure while maintaining overall skin integrity. Populations in East Africa, such as the Nilotic groups, exhibit this phenotype most prominently. The tone itself reflects a long history of adaptation to extreme sunlight, high altitudes, and varied diets that also influenced how melanin is expressed. Though visually striking, its importance lies in the evolutionary balance, maximum protection against solar damage while sustaining a healthy physiological relationship with the environment. Rich Dark Brown Skin This skin tone has a slightly lower concentration of melanin than deep ebony, but still provides strong protection against ultraviolet radiation. It appears as a rich dark brown, often with warm golden or reddish undertones, and is common in populations from West Africa and parts of South Asia. The abundance of melanin shields the skin from DNA damage, lowering the likelihood of mutations and skin cancers in environments where solar exposure is high. At the same time, the slightly reduced density compared to ebony tones allows for some increase in vitamin D production, giving an additional adaptive advantage in regions where sunlight is strong but variable with season or humidity. The benefit of this skin tone lies in its balance between defense and flexibility. It preserves the resilience needed to endure intense sunlight while allowing the body to respond effectively to shifts in climate, altitude, or vegetation density. This made populations with rich dark brown skin especially adaptable across wide equatorial and subtropical regions. Over generations, the interplay of strong protection and moderate vitamin D synthesis shaped a tone that is both protective and versatile securing survival in places where solar intensity was high yet not always constant. Mahogany Brown Skin This tone reflects a deep brown shade with noticeable reddish or copper undertones. It evolved in populations living in tropical and subtropical zones where sunlight is still intense but not as extreme as directly along the equator. The amount of melanin here is high enough to defend the skin from harmful ultraviolet rays, preventing rapid burning and lowering the risk of long-term damage. At the same time, it is less dense than in the darkest tones, which makes vitamin D production more efficient when sunlight is present but not always at peak levels. This fine adjustment allowed people with mahogany brown skin to thrive in varied environments across Melanesia, parts of South Asia, and areas influenced by centuries of migration. The key advantage of this pigmentation is its versatility. It grants reliable resistance to solar damage while permitting a wider range of physiological responses to climate changes. Individuals with this tone often tan easily and evenly, reflecting the skin's ability to adapt quickly to different intensities of sun exposure. Evolutionarily, this combination meant stronger protection than lighter tones in the tropics, but greater efficiency in nutrient absorption than the darkest tones under less predictable sunlight. The result is a phenotype finely tuned for balance, mobility, and resilience across diverse landscapes. Light Golden Brown Skin this tone appears as a lighter shade of brown with warm golden or sun-kissed undertones. It emerged in populations living in regions such as the Mediterranean, North Africa, and parts of South Asia, areas where sunlight is abundant but moderated by distinct seasons. The melanin level provides enough protection against burning while still allowing efficient production of vitamin D, an essential nutrient for bone strength and immune function. This equilibrium between shielding and absorption reflects an evolutionary adjustment to climates with both high solar exposure and periods of reduced intensity. An interesting feature of this tone is its ability to tan quickly and evenly without significant risk of burning, which acts as a dynamic response to shifting levels of sun. Over generations, this created an advantage for populations that lived in environments mixing hot summers with cooler, less sunny winters. The adaptability of light golden brown skin allowed people to remain protected during intense sunshine, yet thrive nutritionally when light was weaker. This balance demonstrates how subtle changes in melanin distribution can produce a phenotype finely tuned for resilience across contrasting seasons and landscapes. Olive-toned skin 
Olive tone skin is distinctive for its neutral base mixed with greenish, yellow, or gray undertones, often making it appear to change with lighting. This adaptation is most common in Southern Europe, the Middle East, North Africa, and some parts of the Andes. The level of melanin here is moderate, striking a balance between protection from strong sun and responsiveness in cooler or cloudier seasons. Its pigmentation is sufficient to shield against ultraviolet rays, but light enough to sustain effective vitamin D synthesis when solar intensity drops. This trait offered an advantage in regions with variable climates, where populations needed to adapt to both sunny summers and colder, less radiant winters. A remarkable aspect of olive-toned skin is its camouflage effect. Because of the neutral shifting undertones, it can appear darker in strong light and lighter in shade, reducing the risk of overexposure and helping maintain consistent vitamin D levels. Populations carrying this trait often lived at crossroads of continents where migration and mixing were constant, making this skin tone a reflection of both adaptation and genetic diversity. Evolutionarily, the olive phenotype is a model of flexibility, robust enough to resist solar damage, yet optimized for survival in transitional climates where extremes of sun and cold alternate over the year. Warm beige skin. Warm beige skin sits between light brown and fair, with a neutral base that can lean slightly pink, golden, or gray, depending on genetic background. It is common in Southern and Eastern Europe, parts of Latin America, and regions of West Asia. The melanin levels here are lower than in olive tones, offering less built-in sun protection, yet still more than the fairest complexions. This balance was shaped in environments with marked seasonal cycles, places where populations faced both long periods of weak sunlight and bursts of stronger summer sun. The skin needed to adjust efficiently to both conditions. What makes this tone especially advantageous is its adaptability to moderate UV exposure. It tans with relative ease, creating a protective layer during sunny months, while in colder or less sunny periods it allows greater absorption of ultraviolet rays for vitamin D production. This flexible response reduced the risk of deficiency-related conditions such as rickets in populations living farther from the equator. Over centuries, warm beige skin became widespread along migration corridors that linked northern and southern climates, making it both a practical evolutionary solution and a marker of human movement across transitional landscapes. Fair light skin. Fair light skin contains relatively low levels of melanin, giving it a pale beige or pinkish appearance. This tone developed primarily in Central and Northern Europe, where sunlight is limited for much of the year. With less melanin acting as a barrier, the skin absorbs ultraviolet radiation more efficiently, which boosts the production of vitamin D. In environments where winter skies are gray and the sun rarely shines at high intensity, this ability was critical for bone health and immune strength, helping populations avoid diseases linked to deficiency. The evolutionary advantage of fair light skin lies in its efficiency rather than its protection. While it burns more easily under strong sunlight, it maximizes vitamin D synthesis in conditions of low solar exposure. This balance ensured survival in climates where maintaining strong skeletal systems was more important than enduring extreme ultraviolet radiation. Over generations, this adaptation allowed communities in northern latitudes to thrive despite long, dark winters, making fair light skin a clear example of how the body fine-tunes pigmentation to match environmental light levels. Very fair skin. Very fair skin represents the lowest concentration of melanin in the human spectrum. It appears milky white or translucent, often showing visible veins beneath the surface. This phenotype developed in Northern Europe, especially in populations from Ireland, Scandinavia, and the Baltic regions, where sunlight is scarce for most of the year. In such low-light environments, producing high levels of melanin would have blocked the little ultraviolet radiation available. By reducing pigmentation, very fair skin ensured maximum absorption of UV rays, which in turn allowed for optimal vitamin D production, a vital defense against bone-softening diseases like rickets. The evolutionary strength of this tone lies in its extreme efficiency in harnessing minimal light. Although it is highly vulnerable to burning under intense sun, this vulnerability was not a disadvantage in regions where skies are often overcast and UV exposure is weak. Instead, it became a survival mechanism, guaranteeing that even the smallest amounts of radiation could be converted into the nutrients needed for strong bones and healthy offspring. This adaptation reflects how human populations adjusted precisely to glacial and post-glacial environments, where thriving depended on making the most of every ray of light available. Don't just watch the world, subscribe and understand it.